students this is the fourth class of anti malarials already we have seen three classes for anti malarials and in the three classes we have seen four drugs they are quinine um chloroquine hydroxychloroquine and amodiaquine now in this class we'll see mefloquine eight amino quinolones and nine amino acridins in eight amino quinolones we are going to see primaquine and pamaquine and in nine amino acridins we are going to see about mepacrine that is otherwise called as quinacrine we'll see one by one so here today we are going to see mefloquine so this is the structure of mefloquine it is coming under four amino quinolones but it is not having amino group in the fourth position it is coming under four amino quinolones actually it is a newer four amino quinolone so look at the structure of mefloquine so it is having a quinoline nucleus and in that fourth position is substituted with uh, substituents so what are all attached in the fourth position so in the fourth position it is having methanol with the methanol carbon of methanol what is attached that is called the piperidin piperidin would be attached and it is having two um trifluoromethyl groups to, so two cf3 groups, groups present at second and eighth position so that is the structure of mefloquine so what is that first we have a quinoline nucleus and that is having two um trifluoromethyl groups and in fourth position it is having a methanol and the carbon of methanol is connected with the piperidin so the second carbon of piperidin no that is connected with the methanol so this is the structure of mefloquine now we'll see the chemical name of mefloquine so for that we have chosen methanol as a parent so this is the parent methanol with the methanol only this quinoline would be attached and piperidin would be attached so what is the chemical name so with that where we have trifluoromethyl groups one at second position another at eighth position so it is 2 8 bis so two groups no two similar groups that's why bis trifluoromethyl and quinoline fourth position would be attached that's why 4 yl close bracket and this is piperidin 2yl this is methanol so that is the chemical name so what is the chemical name 28 bis trifluoromethyl quinoline 4yl piperidin 2yl methanol so that is the chemical name now we'll see already we have seen it is the newest of four amino quinolones and it is marketed as r and s isomer and it is having two trifluoromethyl groups one at second position another at eighth position and it is not having electronegative substituents in in uh, sixth position or at seventh position because quinin is having uh, electronegative substituent at sixth position and this one no chloroquine is having electronegative substituent at seventh position but this is not having electronegative substituents at six or seven now we'll see the reaction so we'll see the metabolism Uh, metabolism of mefloquine so this mefloquine no it undergoes oxidation to form a metabolite called carboxy mefloquine so what is meant by carboxy mefloquine so here we have i mean in the fourth position what is attached methanol would be attached and with the methanol piperidin would be attached no so the whole thing would be oxidized and we are getting the metabolite carboxy mefloquine so what is that uh, the whole thing would be oxidized and we are getting carboxy group in the fourth position so that is called the carboxy mefloquine that is the metabolite of mefloquine so that would be oxidized and we are getting this one okay but it can be inhibited by coadministration with cytochrome 3a4 inhibitor so example for that is ketoconazole so if it is coadministered with ketoconazole the oxidation no so that would be inhibited and it is active against to chloroquine resistant strains of plasmodium and it is a effective suppressive prophylactic agent against plasmodium falciparum now we'll see the side effects of um, mefloquine so it can be categorized into four types the first one is neuropsychiatric side effects examples of suicidal tendencies seizures dizziness vertigo ataxia and headache and headache okay second one is gi effects the examples are nausea vomiting diarrhea and dermatological effects are rashes pruritus urticaria cardiovascular effects would be bradycardia arrhythmia and extra systoles that's all about mefloquine
Now we will see 8 amino quinolones. The examples coming under 8 amino quinolones would be primaquin and palmaquin. So we will see primaquin. So this is the structure of primaquin. Already we have known it is an 8 amino quinolone. So this is a quinolone nucleus and the 8th portion is connected with amino group and that is connected with the substituents. So we will see the structure. So what is it? Um, quinolone with uh, amino group in 8th portion and that is connected with CH, CH3, CH2 thrice NH2 and in the sixth portion it is having methoxy group. So now we will see the chemical name. For the chemical name actually here in sixth portion it is having methoxy group and eighth portion it is having amino group and that amino group is connected with this one. So what is that having four carbons here three here one. So totally four carbons that one can be called as butyl. So with the butyl first carbon is connected with a methyl and fourth carbon is connected with amino group. So everything would be attached in the eighth portion of quinolin that is why its chemical name is 8 open bracket in that fourth carbon of butyl would be connected with amino no that is why 4 amino 1 methyl this is butyl amino close bracket then 6 methoxy quinolin so that is the chemical name of primaquin so we will see that Eight four amino one methyl butyl amino six methoxy quinolin. So that is the chemical name of primaquin. We will see metabolism of primaquin. So primaquin, no, that is metabolized, and we are getting the major metabolite as carboxy primaquin, and the minor one is N acetyl primaquin. So here we have COOH group. Already in the structure of primaquin, here we have CH CH three CH two thrice. N CH2 thrice NH2. So here we have COOH no, so that can be called as carboxy primaquin. And here um, with the NH, the acetyl group is added means that can be called as N acetyl primaquin. So this is the major metabolite and this one is the minor one. The next drug is palmaquin. It is also coming under 8th amino quinolone. So it is having a quinolone nucleus and 8th portion is connected with amino group. And 6th portion is having methoxy group. And with the amino group in 8th portion, what is attached? Butyl is attached. And with the butyl, first carbon is connected with the methyl and fourth carbon is connected with the diethyl amino group. While comparing the structure of palmaquin with primaquin, so what is the difference? In the fourth carbon of butyl is having amino group, NH2 means that is called as primaquin. If the two hydrogens of that amino, no, so that are replaced by means of two ethyl means that is called as palmaquin. So that is the only difference. Now we will see the chemical name. So here quinolin as the parent, that is why in the eighth portion we have. So eight open bracket and in that we have amino butyl now that is why 8 open bracket 4th carbon is connected with this one so 4 diethyl amino again 1 methyl this is butyl amino uh, 6 methoxy this is quinolone so that is the chemical name of palmaquin. Now we will see the synthesis of palmaquin. There may be 3 steps for the synthesis. Now we will see one by one. Step 1 is preparation of 8 amino 6 methoxy quinolin. For that here we have taken st starting material as anisole. So what is meant by anisole? Benzene ring with uh, OCH3. Benzene ring with OCH3 no, that can be called as anisole. Now anisole would be taken that undergoes nitration by means of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. On nitration what happens? Nitro group is added in the para portion. So here nitro group would be added that is why we are getting that. Now on reduction, so usually already we have known nitro on reduction we are getting amino groups. That is why we are getting amino groups. So nitro group would be converted into amino group by means of reduction by using tin and HCl. Now this one no, this undergoes acetylation by means of acetic anhydride. On acetylation what happens? This uh, here we have NH2 no. So 1H is replaced by means of acetyl group. That is why we are getting NHCOCH3. Now again this compound would be um, going for nitration. So nitration by using nitro uh, nitric acid and as sulfuric acid. So on nitration what happens? The next one this portion no. So uh, ortho, ortho to this one NHCOCH3 that portion would be nitrated. So we are getting nitro group in this portion. Now we are going for hydrolysis. On hydrolysis what happens? Here there may be a cleavage. A cleavage between NH and COCH3. So these two would be cleaved. So H would be added with 
um, on hydration what happens uh, hydrolysis what happens H should be added with the NH and uh, OH should be added with the COCH3 and that is removed as acetic acid. So, in this position here we have NH2. So, here we are getting only NH2. Now, with that we are adding glycerol, sulfuric acid and uh, nitrobenzene and it undergoes Krebs synthesis. Now, we will see what is meant by Krebs synthesis. What is that? It is a scrub quinoline synthesis. So, what is that? Quinolins are obtained from this synthesis by treating aniline with the glycerol in the presence of sulfuric acid and an oxidant. So, what are all will be taken as a starting materials? One is aniline, another one is glycerol. So, what is glycerol? CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH. So, if aniline is treated with the glycerol in the presence of sulfuric acid and nitrobenzene here, Already here we have 3 carbons no 1, 2, 3. So, these uh, these 3 carbons no that would be connected with the nitrogen and this carbon to form a ring to form a 6 membered ring having this nitrogen as a heteroatom and forming quinoline. So, what is meant by scrub synthesis? Aniline is treated with the glycerol in the presence of sulfuric acid and nitrobenzene we are getting quinoline. So, the second um, here we have that NH2 and this carbon would be connected with these 3 carbons and there may be a fusion to form a quinoline. So, here this ring no, so this is a derivative of aniline. So, this is an aniline having nitro group and OCH3 that is methoxy group that uh, this one undergoes scrub synthesis by using glycerol, sulfuric acid and nitrobenzene. So, here there may be a new ring that is fused with this one ok. So, that is why we are getting quinoline ring. Now, this one on reduction what happens this nitro group that would be reduced and we are getting amino group. So, that is the 8 amino. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 amino, 6 methoxy quinoline. So, that is the first, um, that is the product you are getting in step 2. Step 2 is preparation of 4 bromo 1 diethyl amino pentane. So, here we have taken this one as the starting material CH3CO, CH2 thrice Cl. So, before that we will see what is pentane. So, pentane means 5 carbon alkane. So, this is first carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is 5 carbon alkene that is called pentane and the second carbon here we have 2 hydrogens No, that 2 hydrogens are replaced by means of oxygen means that is called as 2 oxy pentane otherwise this is a ketone no. So, if it is a ketone that should end with one that is why it is called 2 pentanone and here the fifth carbon is uh, replaced here fifth carbon is having 3 hydrogens No, in that one hydrogen is replaced by means of Cl means that is called as 5 chloro 2 oxy pentane or 5 chloro 2 pentanone. So, that is the starting material taken here. So, what is that CH3CO CH2 thrice Cl that is why it is called 5 chloro 2 pentanone. So, that would be taken and that on reduction by means of lithium aluminum hydride already we have known ketone on reduction we are getting secondary alcohol that is why instead of CO we have to write CHOH. So, this on reaction with diethyl amine. So, on that addition what happens here the H combines with Cl and removed as HCl and the left group no the left N C2H5 twice that is added with this carbon that is why we are getting this. Now, this undergoes bromination by means of thionyl bromide that is SOBr2. So, on bromination what happens? This oxygen combines with SO and removed as SO2 and here we have one hydrogen no that hydrogen combines with Br and removed as Br, HBr and here we have le, um, only one Br. So, that Br is attached with this carbon that is why we are getting this one. For this the numbering would be uh, here that would be the parent. So, what is that CH3, CH, CH2 thrice that would be considered as a parent. Here 3 carbons that is why 1, 2, 3 this is 4th one, this is 5th one. That is why its name is 4 bromo 1 diethyl amino pentane. So, that would be the starting uh, sorry that would be the product you are getting in step 2. So, what you are getting in step 2 we are getting 4 bromo 1 diethyl amino pentane.
Now we'll see step 3. That is the condensation of step 1 and step 2 product. Already we have seen in step 1 we are getting 8 amino 6 methoxyquinoline and in step 2 we are getting 4 bromo 1 diethyl amino pentane. So now these two are taken and that two are condensed. On condensation what happens? Here the H present in NH no, NH2 no. So that H combines with this Br and removed as HBr. So with the NH the left group that is CH, CH3, CH2 thrice. NC2H5 twice would be added with NH and we are getting palmaquin. So, how we are getting palmaquin by treatment with 8 amino 6 methoxyquinoline with 4 bromo 1 diethyl amino pentane, we are getting palmaquin. Now, we will see the uses of 8 amino quinolones. They have gametocidal activity against all strains of plasmodium. They are used for the treatment of relapsing vivox and ovale forms of malaria. And they are combined with the chloroquine to eradicate the erythrocytic stage of malaria. Next drug is mepacrine. Mepacrine is otherwise called as quinacrine. It is coming under 9 amino acridine. So, what is meant by acridine? So, this is called acridine. So, what is that? It is having a pyridine ring and the two ends of the pyridine, no, that is fused with benzene. That can be called as acridine. So, with the acridine, in ninth portion, it is having amino group. And that amino group is connected with the butyl. And first carbon of butyl is connected with methyl. And the fourth carbon is connected with the diethyl amino group. And seventh uh, carbon of this acridine row that is having methoxy group and third carbon is having chloro group. So, what are all in the structure of a mepacrine? It is a 9 amino acridine derivative. So, acridine with amino group in 9th portion. With the amino group, it is having butyl and with the butyl, first carbon is having, having methyl and fourth is connected with diethyl amino group. And in the case of acridine, third is connected with the chlorine and seventh is connected with methoxy group. Now, we will see the chemical name. So, here the acridine, no, so that is uh, chosen as a parent. So, with the acridine, what is attached in third portion, we have chlorine. That is why 3 chloro and 9 open bracket in that the fourth carbon is connected with diethyl amino group. So, 4 diethyl amino and 1 methyl, totally this is butyl then amino close bracket then 7 methoxy acridine so that is the chemical name so what is the chemical name 3 chloro 9 open bracket in that 4 diethyl amino diethyl amino 1 methyl butyl amino 7 methoxy acridine so that is the chemical name It may be tumorigenic and mutagenic and it acts as a histamine n methyl transferase inhibitor. Um, it is used as an antiprotozoal agent that is it is uh, active against metronidazole resistant GRD acids and acting as an anti-rheumatic and as an intrapleural sclerosing agent and used in the case of uh, systemic lupus erythematosus for this, uh, for this it is used as an off-label medication. Already we have known it is an acridine derivative. So, because of the presence of that acridine, it can cause yellow discoloration of the skin. It is too toxic, that is why it is not used now. So, that is all about mepacrine.